He is the solo B player here for MVP right now, but we've got a couple waiting in the wings for that fast rotation. It's going to be Zep in the spawn, and Solo's already found first blood. Pasha going straight down at the top of Banana, and VP may be looking to commit to this regardless. Solo repositioning back on Coffins. Goosh comes in, so he's got to fall back and wait for his team to rejoin for this retake. Everyone here for VP, no flanks, and all the MVP players retaking from the same spot. Just kind of cobbles its way over towards the Banana side. It's Neo from within the barbecue to get himself a headshot. Couple kills come in for the side of MVP, but it's just not enough as of yet. It's Snatchy with a double. And once more, nobody necessarily wants to be that next death, so they need to make sure they win these duels. The inside of the pit are still playing patient. Mihu and Mihu again to finally make his strike. Yes, Glow comes in from beneath them, but Bialy snubs him out. Making VP walk into the stack, but again with only 16. USP, it shouldn't be too much of a task once they work it out, but I say that, two kills already in for the price of one, that's a discount, and 15 seconds left, that bomb's stuck in middle, and Snatchy needs to bail them out right now, but there it is, two massive frags, they should just have time, assuming they can Go. prioritize the plant, but yeah, I don't know, Go. I don't know if they got this. Run. Oh, oh no! Flubbed. What a missed opportunity that is. <laughs> Oh, that's 20 seconds. The bomb's only just breaking its way up too long. Finally, the entry frag comes in, but the flashbang is just too damn good for MVP. Holding off these Polish players one by one to take shots, and Bialy finds two kills. Left with nothing at all. Seems like VP can't catch a break. Oh, take that back. Snatch, he's just going to wreck Solo up on long. He won't expect the second player. And Glow lets one pass, takes the second as well, peeks out for three, but Snatch, he's ready. This man is, is not stopping. He is absolutely on a tear. Zeph will be somewhat in position, but he has no utility to stop this, so the ump's gotta do work. And while it does damage, it doesn't get kills. Yeah, and that again leaves an AWP for a retake. Not the weapon you want for this kind of situation. And VP already have the man advantage, so to make matters worse, luckily enough, Zeph wants to make matters make matter better. He drops Snatchy. Already on a 3k this round, so an impactful kill at that. Neo tagged up, but he's already going to let one play across with only a bit of damage, giving an opportunity for MVP to really give this one a go. Zion's going to move up, but Neo spots him, and that just leaves Zeta. Flow reveals himself with a, oh man, bit of a premature shot. Because he falls down into the flames, Hugo, he has to drop because he's revealed. But in running forward, he loses his HP, and then his head, and, well, teammates follow suit. It's only Zion. In a matter of what seemed like 10 seconds there, four deaths come in for MVP, and Virtus Pro will be very content with their 10th round of the half. And it should be clean. There we go. Bialy f finishes. They're about to barrel into the A site, but now, now he has confirmation. Oh, Neo. Yes, he's got them turned. And he gets that headshot onto Solo. Just like that. Big trade. 30 seconds left as well. Snatchy somehow doubled it down up on this A-bomb site. Finally, the orb having some effect on the CT side, and it may be enough to drag VP through this one. Mihu's up on Banana. But Nade's coming over the top. Oh. It's a blind shot from Mihu, and that may just be enough. 20 seconds left up, and he's hiding at the back of the site, just trying to delay this as long as he possibly can. CT smoked a cut off his teammate, but all he needs to do is stay alive, and Mihu's found another. Lo last kill needed, and Glow's already been spotted. Mihu wants nothing to do with it. It was a solid first half from Virtus Pro, but the T side of MVP looked like that of Ghost. Hello. I was always there, Hugo. Oh, okay, mine just cut out. All my audio cut out. Oh, and it's still gone. We are back, though, I think. A uh, short retake coming through here for the side of uh, the CTs. I I'm so lost. <laughs> Listen, I got no sound. The teams are swapped, guys. Let's just forget about pistol round. This pro need to get going. They need to find their entry, and they have started to close that gap. Zeta still trying oh. to find impact, and he's left it just onto his teammate, me, who gives chase, but it's a ring around the rosy that he's just not fast enough. Here for MVP, me who is gonna be kind of hung out to dry, but he's getting away at least one kill and does have the opportunity to fall back as well. MVP, not pressuring him there at all. And he's already pressured. Snatchy's gonna get himself another free kill in the middle. No train here in sight for MVP and nothing. Finally, Snatchy gets wall banged out, but MVP can really use his middle or catwalk and they're gonna walk right into Pasha. That's such an advantage on that position. You can see how the way yeah. the legs come around the corner first, right? Due to the gap in the side of the... That they wow. have the aim, just maybe not the comfort here on Dust2. Good shot off the scout, but again, you're not going to get past this double-op setup. They haven't been able to get past it. Oh, they're run boosting. 
They don't have a smoke for the CT spawn. The next best option the issue is they're blind. Shots through the smoke keep Snatchy at bay, so he won't go for anything, but they're going to make it across only to their death. Mihu with the bursts. Nice and shot. That he spawn. Oh, no. Especially if Neo wraps through them. Snatchy's going to try and distract, create the duel, and that leaves them so damn exposed. Even if they still had heads, it wouldn't have been for much longer. The pistol belongs to VP. From VP could win them this entire game here and now, and that's because of their great work, of course, to get to 15 rounds. And here we go. Here's where the entry start flying through. Snatchy and Neo combining on long for a couple of kills. And the openers, the VP need to close this game. We need something from Zeta, but it's not going to happen. Another player in the CT spawn dropped, and it is just all on glow. Wrong side of the map. Wrong place, wrong time, and VP will find that victory. 16 to 5, as dominant as you like. A couple of consolation rounds for the... Yeah. <laughs> Fast mid play for VP, though. Zeph's up on short. Smoke's going to come down. He's going to be completely cut out of this one, but can always push through it if Neo allows him. Neo diving in through the window, and VP in the meantime have just taken that A site. It's the heavy B stack that's worked out so... I was about to say wonderfully, really not wonderfully. I mean, a 5-on-5 five five retake is still a pretty good situation for MVP. It's not like they don't have a good chance to win this round, but VP with a bomb plan are going to have a, a nice chance to fall back into their post points. Oh, man. Oh. Quick headshots, though. Everybody just gets denied. <laughs> There's no retake attempt here. Unfortunately for MVP, it is just death and despair. And here on the A site, he's just got to hope that no one pushes out of Palace because they will check that corner and you'll have no choice but to give away his position. 20 seconds left. VP have the kills, but they need the plant. And it finally comes through, but there's the strike from Zayn. Two frags from him. He knows one more's in the Palace and he's seen one in the jungle as well, but he can't finish it off. No, he's going to do a little bit of damage to Pasha, but it's Pasha to pick up the 2K. Snatchy hits the headshot and follows suit with the clear rounds. be finished off as well was already low HP as it was and now VP looking to bring this bomb back up a man on short gonna be flashing his way over that's perfect glow so blind and Neo's gonna get a free kill as a result that solo has been using this position far too much for VP to let it slip by they're gonna find the opening kill to add on top of that and snatch even drops one with the AWP this oh! is working out so well for Zyne they all lined up they even drop into his gun and three kills from him. Still, it's only a 2v2. Still, VP have a good shot, but Zion has made this round possible. 25 seconds left. It's all on this kill. If Zeph finds it, he could win the round, but it's not going to happen. Past it anyway. Me who runs right through, but under the balcony sits Zion. Not for long. Body hits the floor. No smoke in the spawn, and Zeta drops the bomb as a result. MVP making a mockery of VP on this A bomb site. That's the lack of utility coming back to haunt them. Oof, clean headshot, but bomb. Still not down, thrown out into the open. He needs two kills in 12 seconds, and that's not a lot to work with, but he could make it happen now. He just needs this reload, and he's going to have to go for the rush. Glow is so close, he misses his chance. He doesn't walk far enough. Now he needs the kill, oh. and he takes the frag instead. Wow. Said by MVP, I say that, but Zeph's just moved in position for one more. And even though Neo trades, it will delay his plant, allowing MVP to set up for the retake. If he goes to this short plant, this could just be the kill that finishes it off. Whoa, he's got the first one, and he's got a good position for angles in terms of cover. He's going to go ahead and try and get that bomb in, and sure enough, Zion can't close the gap fast enough. So neo has got his gun prepared, poised, ready to get himself a final frag. It's a huge HP advantage for Zion, but the AK has that one bullet. Lethality, and here it is. Just like that. Barrel off back towards A. Mihu just trying to find the right player to kill, the right timing to strike, and he has found a Galil, but that's all he can might. VP still with a man advantage by two, but the thing is, MVP have the rifles intact. VP actually now picking up guns, and it's all down to Zyne. Yeah, he's got a health advantage over all three of these players, but they have retrieved guns. Now, two of them don't have Kevlar either, so Zyne can very well win this round. But he's going to check out some utility. Oh. Lines up two. Where's the third? He's got it. Burnt to a crisp. He hears that scope. Snatch is dead to right. Solo still has a chance at this. He barrels out from the window, and that is where he falls. It was not the time to play a nade. Pasha comes in from behind, and he still has the element of surprise. Pasha bicep taps down two, and that now leaves it on design. VP continue on round after round, play after play. Whether it be big multi frags or simple trades, they get the job done, but the job's not finished oh. yet. So close was Zyne to Jachi looks to go running in, and he is now the last man, the last man standing. Virtus Pro staring elimination in the eyes. MVP have done it 
in the third map decider, Hugo, they have made the near impossible happen. All three qualified teams 